Oh my gosh, look at the amount of twist on those tires. The, the throw, the steering throw. <laughs> Finally here! You guys know exactly why I'm excited about this. This is the first 1.8 scale uh, truck I have seen marketed to date. Uh, now it's available at uh, Asia Tees. Thanks to Asia Tees for sending this box uh, from Traction Hobby. They've been waiting for the exact right product to hand pick and to send to RC Adventures. And I say no more uh, waiting. Let's get into the box and see what we have in store. <laughs> Here is the decal pack on top. Sweet. Wow, this body is amazing. Whoa, it has a full interior as well. <laughs> yes! So here it is, guys. One eight scale size. <laughs> oh my goodness, check it out, guys. The one eight scale Goliath, <laughs> that's what I call it, straight from Asia Tees and Traction Hobby, the Cragsman. Off-road, one eight scale electric trail crawler. What do you think of this monster? Holy cow, just wait until I start showing you what this thing is all about. Wow. It's really hard to compare to other vehicles right when you first see it. Uh, so I'm gonna kinda just jump right into it. Let me say this is the largest crawler I've had, uh, except for my one fifth scale crawler I made years and years ago. This actually comes as an almost ready to run model uh, from Asia Tees. Big shout out to Asia Tees uh, for sending this uh, Cragsman down for me to check out to showcase for all the viewers here at RC Adventures because they knew darn well all the adventurers out there were definitely going to want to get the scoop on this. No pun intended. <laughs> Number one, I know I want to get right into it and show you that being an almost ready to run, this thing basically includes almost everything you need. I need a battery basically. Check it out. This is the controller that it gets sent with. I would say it looks fairly usual, but it's not usual. Check out these two toggle switches here on the side. Did you know that this vehicle actually has locking and unlocking diffs as well as a two-stage transmission? Sounds a little similar to another vehicle that recently got released, but I'm going to show you the differences into why I think this one may stand all on its own. Apart from being an, a huge giant of a vehicle, which is awesome because in the wintertime, guys, <laughs> I can say that being out in the wintertime in snow with my trail trucks has been a challenge over the years because you get yourself into some deep ruts and you don't have enough belly clearance to kind of get you out of those snow holes, right? Um, so having a bigger truck like this out on the trail, this might be a game changer. So back to what we're getting right here. I got a clear body. I want to paint it up uh, exactly the way I would like to do it, but I think it's very cool. Let's start with the body. I have not uh, uh, put the wheel nuts on here for no other reason, so I can just show you around the vehicle, but I just unboxed it. This whole body comes pre-assembled. Look at those headlights. Almost looks like it's grimacing at the trail, ready to go. Everything on this body just kind of came out of the box the way it is. The uh, fender flares on the side, the lights, the mirrors. Uh, it, it's like a mix of Lexan and hard body. So yes, these are firm hard plastic. The body is Lexan. This piece right here, hard body. Same on the front. I like that these light buckets are uh, able to put lights on the inside. And the neatest thing about this body is it's a two-piece. In fact, on the inside, if you look carefully, you can see an interior and a steering wheel. 
and the internal cage. So I haven't even gotten into taking this stuff apart or uh, you know even other than inspecting it, getting it ready for the show so I knew what I was talking about for you guys. I don't really have much experience with this. You know these back here are not decals, they're actually cut out metal. Same with this back traction hobby <laughs> sign. Good job traction hobby, I'm glad to see someone came out with a larger scale crawler. This is super duper cool. 2.2 size tires, let's have a look at them. These are the stock tires it comes with. They're a very sticky compound, compound almost almost like an X3 compound uh, from my, just from guessing and judging, very, very sticky, but look at this. Looks like I need to get in there and glue these on the side, because let me take one off. Here, I'll just put this down so you can look at the back axle. <laughs> this whole axle is alloy as well. Here, put that down. Oh yeah, so these are just basically glue-ons, unless you have bead locks yourselves, the rims are glueable. The alloy axle. Look at that. I also see a cable coming down. It's gonna be cable driven, locking and unlocking diffs. A lot of people may look at this when they see underneath this hood and say, gee whiz, that looks like a truck we know that's just been released. But there are certainly some changes. So let's take this off. Interior, you can run with this whole piece off. You can paint the interior, have the cage all exposed from what I see underneath. All nicely pre-done. Very cool. There are some things about this truck I absolutely love already, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. Number one, this truck is a monster. I know, I can't really show you the size of it uh, without you guys being able to see it in person, uh, but it's, it's definitely larger than the Traxxas TRX4. Uh, it's about three inches longer from what I can surmise, as well as about two inches wider. That's right, like two inches wider from tire to tire on the outside. Check it out on the inside. Yes, we still have these trays underneath and these sidebars, but things have changed. Like, well, not, not changed, like this is traction hobbies, obviously, so you can tell. One servo, two, three servos, four servos, two-stage transmission. So this is the shifting servo for the transmission that's run up here. Nice, as well as check this out. Is it about time we saw a company came out uh, with body um, magnets so you can easily remove the body and then place it back on when you're out on the trail? Same back here. No more ugly body posts or bad holes to drill uh, up on this body here because uh, they come with some magnets. I wonder how this is gonna hold up durability wise, but I know in the cold it'll be absolutely great I won't have to get in there with those sharp little clips and pull them out what are we looking at for drive shafts on the inside like it looks like transmission in the middle this transfer case is definitely unique okay so let me take off these tires because I just kind of well I can just leave them there I guess I just put them on so you guys could see them but yeah long drive shaft in the back <laughs> Long drive shaft in the front, slightly angled um, uh, links for suspension here on the four link setup. It's only a three link in the front with a pan hard bar. Yeah, exactly. Holy cow, this looks awesome. Here's something else I like about it right away. You can put on the wheel nut, which is on the inside, and then as a secondary uh, thing, it's got a hub that you can actually twist in place and the hub actually protects your wheel nut from coming off on the trail. Hey, how cool is that? That way when you're out and you're wheeling, you don't have to worry about losing your tire and then the wheel nut that's black on the forest or the dirt ground that you're at. So that's one way to keep it in place. <laughs> oh, epic, epic, epic. <laughs> I know I'm like gushing about this truck. You guys are like, oh, you're probably paid to say this, but really I'm not. I, I just have done so many trucks like in my whole RC adventure. I gotta say this one is beastly, beefy, and yeah, it could easily pass for a 10th scale, 
on the large side because that body is enormous. And then like, so in TTC competitions, you guys are gonna have to be careful. We're, I wonder what the wheelbase is on this. What does it say? Wheelbase in millimeters, 374, height 305, 302. What's it say on the Asia T's hobby site here? Let's go down. Wheelbase, 374 millimeter, chassis mounted servo, axle ground clearance is 45 mils. Skid plate clearance is 82 mils. The stinger, bumper, everything there. Looking good, man. <laughs> okay, you guys can go and check this out on the website yourself, but overall, I am super, super stoked to have this uh, in my studio. Ah, uh, you know I'd twist you up. I wouldn't leave you without showing you a little bit of articulation. Yes, I certainly have some work to go on this, but being an almost ready to run vehicle, this thing is basically ready to go right out of the box. I just needed a battery and a charger and I could have hit the trail right away. But look at the amount of articulation on this beast. I can hardly wait. I know that there's Velcro on the inside. Those that are wondering about these magnets on top. There is also Velcro to go on the side right here to help that body stay in place. So a mix of Velcro and uh, magnets, that's going to work. What do you think of this truck? Hey, you got to leave me a comment in the video comment section down below. Do you think one eight scale trail trucking is going to take off like a smash success or does nobody have any room for it? Now granted, remember this is only about three inches longer than the TRX4, so it's not that that much bigger. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I got tons of things coming up on RC Adventures, guys. Uh, in fact, I'd like to get some new 2.2 tires, uh, like uh, for that Jeep right there. I would also like to get the new wheels, like uh, the crate tires uh, that, or the crate wheels the really nice spoked beadlocks they have at uh, Asia Tees. I'll leave some links in the video description box down below. It's kind of like a one-stop shop for all your RC stuff. There are tons of online stores, but at least this one has a lot of really neat uh, uh, selection. So there you go. Uh, guys, I'm gonna go, I got stuff to catch up on. Like for example, I'm working with my buddy from Poland to outfit a nice C10 truck that I'm painting right now for you uh, with all the accessories that he's doing at Shapeway. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit that notification button. Make sure to come when you see I'm putting out a new video. Come and have a look at it because uh, we always have fun things going on here at the RC Spark Studio. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now go outside and have some fun with RC and if it's too cold like it is for me, do the maintenance you've been procrastinating on. <laughs> Bye.